that's not very exciting. Oh, more. What is this with like pickup trucks and stuff? These are all brown. That's the worst thing. What the hell? That was a they're, they're protecting the crowds. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that was very odd. We just saw like SWAT go by and then all these other trucks and we're confused what's going on right now. They're the backup SWAT. Dude, they got all the guns and ammo. <laughs> hi guys, I'm Dan. Hi, hi guys, I'm Dan. Good morning, YouTube, morning, which YouTube. is not quite as cool as yours. Hi. So, yes, I wasn't gonna get me cool. Hi. Uh, look at you guys know him, sort of. I'm sure some of oh, you, at least like two of yeah. you, know Street. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe two. <laughs> two. <laughs> All right, we'll give you the benefit of the doubt. Six. Six people. Six people. Six people know Tim. <laughs> Comment below. Comment below. Do you know? Do you know Shmi? <laughs> All right, guys. We're back at SEMA. We're gonna see some more cool stuff today. More Supras. That's the goal. We want more Supras. Oh yeah, right. <laughs> We've determined. Hey, hey Dan. Look. You didn't see enough Supras yesterday. No, no, no. Look, look. Oh, there they are. Yes. Uh, Tim has a term for it now. This is not SEMA. The Society of Engineering and Manufacturing Association is SEMA. Is it the, the Supra, Supra, the enthus, e? Supra, Supra Enthusiast, Enthusiast Modification Affair? Yes, yes, yes. That was how people commented on my video. Yes, <laughs> it's pretty much everything here. Oh, not an entrance. I gotta go that way. Everything here is a Supra. Everything and it's slammed. And it's wide body. And it's got a big wing. Oh my god, is that the line? Oh. Oh yeah, we get to skip. Woohoo! So are you recording all of the nefarious activities? Dude, this is uh, way busier than yesterday. Uh, yeah. Holy crap, what this is like twice as packed. Today? Holy crap. Alright, I got a goal. I'm gonna try and stay exactly on this line for as far as I can. Let's see if I can. Oh, pardon me. Pardon me. Sorry. Pardon me. Oh, we got a roadblock. Oh, pardon me. Uh, there, it's getting close. It's close. Uh huh. Oh, look at, dude. If you just look confident that you're not moving. Oh yeah. So far, so good. I've only had to step off the line once. We got a ways to go, though. I know, right? Oh, well, gotta stay close. That's a close one. The line. Oh no. Oh, oh. Oh. Damn it. We couldn't stay on the line. It got too dense. Victory. We made it. We made introduce, it. Introduce, introduce, so we can get this done. They got a yeah. busy schedule. Got camera reception. Filming Shmi, filming Ooh. Yes. Autobahn. <laughs> it's always fascinating to watch other YouTubers and how they do their jobs. Oh, yeah, yeah. Through the, through the, see, look at We got the, the over the arm shot. But yeah. Oh, yeah. What's really funny is he uses like an old school handy cam and we were talking about how it's YouTube, right? You don't have to have this crazy high quality stuff. Oh, so awesome. I'm like, man, I've been doing this wrong the whole time. Learning from the pros, man. Learning from the masters. Hey, look. Another Supra. It's Rev Match TVs with the matching shirt color. Wow. Very good. What? Uh, something happened. Can you tell me if you feel Nothing that happened. Or not? Nothing happened. Nothing happened. Nothing happened. That she, uh, she looks upset. You, film. Oh, me over there. I'm uh, not supposed to be on film ever. Why? why? Oh. You didn't, you didn't, you didn't, you didn't, you I totally didn't film her. Housewives of SEMA. <laughs> Tell us why, we're, why you're not supposed to be we're, on camera. We're going to go to Shell. We want, we want some we're drinks. So anyway, uh, here's the scoop. So Shell is having a mixology event. They have four drinks to represent the four levels of defense of the new Shell V-Power Nitro Plus. So they actually look like pretty good drinks. Although I'm not a huge hard liquor fan, but I'm going to at least try them. I mean, I always try drinks. I mean, yeah, why not? I'm gonna have a live video going out from there, so hopefully you've watched the live video. <laughs> they could use some drinks. She needs a drink. She, yeah. You need. You could get some of the mixology drinks. Yeah. She needs that. Yes. Race fuel for our bodies. So you guys know. All right. So there's there's gunk, friction, wear, and corrosion. Right. Those are the four levels of defense. So they have four drinks representing those four levels. Let's go check them out. Should be pretty interesting. I said I need to get the corrosion out of my body. And you can do that with a drink. We can, yes. Yes, with booze. Yeah, I think someone's doing a massive burnout out there. Sweet. 
All right, so we just got to the shell thing, and I actually think this is pretty cool because I'm a nerd and I find this kind of stuff interesting. So this is the dual fuel truck. One side of the truck runs on like regular old gas, the other side runs on shell. Half the engine, like one half of the engine runs on shell, the other half runs on crap, whatever, I don't know. Not shell, we'll just go with that, not shell, right? I think it's a pretty cool, interesting way to actually experiment and show that the shell gas is better. I saw all the data on it, yeah, anyway, it's pretty fascinating, I, I like this stuff. All right, so I'm here with Piotr. I think I pronounced that right. Yeah, no, that's, Piotr. Right. that's right. All right, so this is the dual for the Raptor, which apparently is his brainchild. As a nerd, I really love this idea. Like the whole idea of showing that shell is better by running two separate fields, so it runs, yeah. it runs left and right thing, correct? Correct, yeah. So, so like, what, what inspired this? Well, so this is actually our fourth generation of dual fuel car. Okay. So we used to have uh, some sedans, and then last year we decided that we really wanted to make something special, really with SEMA in mind. So we said, okay, you know, a Raptor's pretty impressive. It's a best-selling vehicle for, or you know, F-150's best-selling vehicle for 40-something right, right. of the years. And then the Raptor's kind of like the aspirational version of that. The real exciting thing here is the engine is actually port fuel and direct injected. It really improves the, like, you know, the relevancy of the message because it's now traditional technology port fuel, but also with that modern twist in a direct injection engine. So we do have more scope. Can, so we, can we actually look at it? Yeah, yeah, right yeah. Now? Yeah, so, so this is uh, this is live feed from inside uh, inside the, the intake manifold. So we took okay. the intake manifold off, okay. and then used the more scope to go down. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, so generally there should be an intake manifold here, yeah. Yeah. but there isn't, right, right. right? So we pop that off so that you can go right down the runners okay. and have a look at intake valve deposits, which is what you're seeing here and, and on the screen. Driver's side ran on Shell V-Power Nitro Plus. Okay. This side ran on low quality premium fuel. And so what you're looking at here is intake valve deposits on low quality premium fuel. So all this, this gunk yeah, yeah, right yeah. here. Gunk built up on exactly. the intake so, valve. Yeah, so this is the valve stem yep. and that's the face. Yep. Right, so all of this stuff is fuel that stuck to the back of that valve and didn't make it into your combustion chamber. Yeah. So we'll pull this out of here. We're going to one of these other cylinders on the driver's side. So now you've got Holy the valve stem coming from the other side. It actually looks like metal. <laughs> yeah. And so there you go. That's, I mean, that's what valves look like from the factory, basically, yeah. right? So there's it's all no, actual there's metal. On there. yeah. Notice how it's not black and there's no crusty stuff going up there. That's right. Wow. That, that, <laughs> see, and that's really cool. And one of the interesting things about this engine, like I was saying earlier, is because it's direct injected, so when we split this, we had to actually install a second high pressure fuel pump. If you look under here again, this, this is the stock high pressure fuel pump here. Okay, yeah. And so we had to make a custom camshaft and a custom valve cover to put a second high pressure fuel pump right there. Oh yeah, yeah. So this will be, I'd, I'd be willing to put money on the fact that this is the only Raptor in the world that works like this. Yeah, I, I would guess that's probably a good accurate yeah. statement. Awesome. So we have a standalone ECU that controls the pressure on this side and then we've got two fuel tanks in the bed. One for the V-Power Nitro Plus and right. one for the low quality premium fuel. That is awesome. How big is the fuel tank? Uh, I think they're eight gallons a piece. We can have a look if you want. Okay. So left side, driver's side is the one for Shell V-Power Nitro Plus. The right side or the passenger side is the one that's running a low quality premium fuel. About eight gallons a piece. You can see some bits and bobs in the back. So we have extra fuel pumps, obviously. We have a big fire suppression system that's plugged uh, to the engine bay as well as back here. In case uh, you know, in case something were to happen, the driver can actuate a switch that dumps CO2 and oh, okay, yeah. and uh, controls this thing. What is that? With the big boxes that it needs. So the box is just a secondary containment in case of a uh, of a spill. You know, so it captures that and it doesn't spill out anywhere else. Oh, okay. And then we've got a, just a fitting that you can drain it out in case something happens or if it gets rained on. You know, safety is a big thing for us. Sure. But we also want to tell people the technology message behind our fuel. Very cool. Thanks a lot, Pierre. Yeah, for sure. Thank for you. sure. <laughs> so, you know, we kind of run into a few YouTubers and I actually ran into another one here at Shell. So, hey guys, Chris Vicks here. What is going on? <laughs> I'm sure at least like four or five of you have seen his channel, maybe seven or eight. Hopefully. hopefully. At least seven. seven. We'll go with eight. Hopefully those people were helped by the channel. Yes, yes. Learn so, something new. So that's huh? right. So, you know, my audience is his audience, right? We like to work on cars, like the wrench. There's always tips and tricks in there to try yes. to help everybody. And somebody who doesn't know how to change brakes to somebody who's changed a million brake pads. Right, and I'm a Mustang fan, so. Oh, sweet, sweet. Yes, you know. I, I gotta get you in the drift car. If you ever come out, you gotta, oh, I'll dude. get you in the drift car, we'll go for a ride along. Yes. I, I'll take him out now, I'll take him out. All right, guys, we're gonna get some drinks now. <laughs> All right, what drink did you get? That looks good. Rusty engine. Rusty engine. Very yes, strawberry. It's with watermelon. So what? Watermelon. what is that fight against? 
You fight against something? Well, the, the, there shall be power. It's a whole corrosion. Corrosion. Yeah. See, I need know. a corrosion you drink. Need, you need a corrosion drink. Yeah, like, you, I just want my you, drink. Yeah, you, know, you hang out with him enough. You gotta be at least like, you know. She just doesn't listen. Nah. It's not cars. <laughs> no. I'm so excited to be here with all of you as well as the show. Yeah. If you don't know me, I was on Motor Trends Garage Pod for the past four seasons. I'm gonna try and yell and get over those cars that are there. <laughs> Hopefully, you can hear me okay. Right, Art's gonna spin the wheel. Art wants to spin the wheel. Yeah, so my wife just got back to the table and she won 50 bucks. <laughs> Can you do 50 bucks? Spin the wheel, Art. Come on, Art. 50 bucks. 50 bucks. 50 bucks. Oh. 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 I knew it. I mean, yay! Hey, 10 bucks. Thank you. So, how long does this last in a Ferrari 430? That's about two miles. Two miles. Two miles. <laughs> Perfect. I'll take it. Do it, Eric. Do it. Yeah. Oh. Ah! Jindo is your gift card! Alright, Dan, your turn, buddy. I'm gonna try and win something. Look! Oh. Alright, you ready? Yeah, yeah. Ready? Do it. I'm gonna see what I can do. What if I go the other way? Does it work the other way? Is everyone's going that way? It's That's my strategy. $100 now. See, I'm a lefty, so it's gonna go left. Come on. Oh, oh you got the big one! Oh! Yes! Yay. My strategy works. Woo, See, go lefties. I won 50 bucks. Woo! Beat power, baby. <laughs> All right, look at this. We got the, the so live broadcast going the on. Last year. With Heather Storm, yes, I'm trying to talk quiet because we're doing live. I was just on her live stream, it's kind of cool. Yeah, I was filming the film. Look at this. How is it? Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, wait, are we live? No, no, no. I already did the live. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're, I was just on the vlog right now. But you're oh, you're on the vlog, yeah, vlog. again. Okay. By the way, by the way, because of your. Likes, I get what you get. You got three likes, right? Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, yeah. Seven, seven, seven likes. You got, you got seven likes. No, I didn't think you'd get seven likes. That's I didn't amazing. either. Guess baby. what? It's got straight likes, baby. Does it really? I gotta yeah. come visit you again soon. And guess what? What? I have a red Ferrari as well. He's joining what? the crew. Yeah. yeah. What? Dude, yeah. maybe I'll drive you to Texas and we should bring you down. Oh, dude, yeah. we can hook you up. I'm straight pipe too. Is it really? It is. Already? Already. Oh, From shit. factory. It's way faster. Make sure you mine. drive with Shell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you yeah, should yeah, bring yours too. Yes, yeah. And just bring That'd all the Ferrari. We've been going some Shell. This is going to destroy mine. I think both your Ferraris uh -oh. are missing. But you're a better no. driver, so maybe not. So, but. It's a base car. I don't. I haven't pulled the cats yet. Those are coming soon. You just clickbaited me. No, 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 no. I didn't click <laughs> You said it was straight piped, and then you're like, I haven't pulled the cats yet, so you did a muffler oh, delete. Exactly they're <laughs> hey, I get it. It's YouTube. If you delete anything, it's straight pipes. So I get it. I did the same. I did the same. Yeah, yeah, I get it. You get it. Don't worry. Cats are going away soon. Yes, they we just are. just ran out of time. I get it. I get it. All right. We're kind of winding down at SEMA today. I think that's going to wrap it up. We're really tired, and we're going to go have dinner with the Shell folks. But yes, we had a lot of fun at the Shell Mixology event. Got some good drinks. Got to meet some incredible YouTubers. It's kind of weird, like we're here kind of as everything's winding down and it's kind of quiet. Like an hour ago, there was 100,000 people here probably. We got a lot of cool car stuff coming your way. So we're gonna be driving back to Phoenix tomorrow. We're gonna be going to Scottsdale for the FCA reception. So you guys are obviously wanna stay tuned and watch that. It's gonna be awesome. We're gonna have like three, four days plus of just driving hard, seeing lots of Ferraris, cool stuff. It's gonna be great. But you guys know drill. Subscribe, like, and share. We'll be doing a lot of car stuff. It's gonna be sweet.